Hi everyone and welcome back to part 2 of the hedgehog tutorial. If you've not seen part 1 but you'd like to draw this along with me I'll link it down below and yeah we're gonna just carry on where we left off and do the next part of this hedgehog. My cat's making a lot of noise behind me but um, yeah everything that you need to know will be listed down below including the line drawing if you want to trace that out um, the reference photo, all the coloured pencils that I'll mention in the tutorial and any additional tools like, like pencil sharpeners or erasers or anything like that. So let's just get stuck in and start with the tutorial. Right, I think first things first, I'm going to start on the ears just because um, the ears are kind of like the same sort of colours as this part of the face so I think I'm going to do the ears and then do the fur in between because it's like a warmer colour so I'm just going to dab with my kneadable eraser I'm just going to dab that pencil line away and I'm going to use the base colour which is the cold grey one and I'm just going to colour over that ear so the ear it's sort of like there's some cold bluey toned hair is just like sitting on top of it so I'm gonna do sort of like this whole ear area and then blend it down a bit just sort of like fade it out Just like that. There we go. And then I'm going to use the warm grey five and I'm just going to start adding some detail into this. I'm making sure that my pencil's like super sharp for this bit. And what I'm going to do is so you, can you see how there's all these little lighter hairs that are sitting on top of this ear? I'm going to try and imitate that by drawing around them. So, it's like a little shape there, and then I'm gonna do like little V shapes to make it look like this fur is sat on top. So, I'll do another one here, like a little pointed shape, and another one there. little shape there. Just imitate these shapes that I'm doing and it'll just make it look like the fur is sat on top. A little v-shape there. The little shape. This shape is sort of like, I'll show you on a piece of paper. It's kind of like a little triangle and then a little V. It looks weird when you do it on its own but over time once you've done a few it'll start to build up like a natural looking bit of fur and that fur will look like it's sat on top of the dark a bit. So it's just a combination of shapes like this, V and then Triangular shapes. It looks a bit weird at the minute, but trust me, it'll start to look right. And then here, I'm just gonna do some more. could use a slice tool to like cut away these little hairs but I'm just going to try and keep it simple where I can so that you don't have to have a slice tool. Yeah I'm just going um, to go over those a little bit. 
and then I'm just going to start building up this colour over that area that's got the cold grey one, just on this ear. Just going in between those shapes. Just like that to start building up that colour. I'm just going to bring this shape down a bit. And I might even add a little line in there. Just to add a bit more texture to that little bit of hair. It'll start to make sense in a minute. Right, now I think it needs a bit more depth and it needs darkening up. So I'm going to use the dark sepia and just sort of concentrate it into the bottom part of these little shapes. Then it looks like it's really shadowy. So I just think I need to sharpen this a little bit. Right, that's better. And I'm just going to define these little shapes. Just going in between. Take your time, don't need to rush. Bit darker at the bottom here. Right, I think I just need to sort the shape of that ear out a little bit. So I'm going to use the warm grey 5 and just round it off a little bit. Just sort of tidying up that edge. And I think a little bit more dark sepia. Right. There we go. And I'm just going to add a bit more cold grey one just over these hairs. Sort of like blend it out a little bit. And I'm going to use the light cobalt turquoise just to add that turquoisey tone. I'm mostly just concentrating it sort of like at the edge of the hairs because it gets a bit warm around here. So just sort of touching those ends of these hairs. And we will make them look more like hers in a bit, don't worry. There we 
Tacka. Can you see how that already looks like? It's there's this lighter hairs sitting on top of the ear. And it also ties in nicely with the colours in this bit. Right, now I'm just gonna rub out these pencil marks like that and I'm going to use ivory as a base now because it's a lot more yellow toned and I think that will just warm it up nicely right so this is just like a creamy pale yellow colour and I'm just going to use that as a base in between that space between the ear and the face it nice and smooth so it's like blending it all together let's bring it down a little bit excuse my voice in this video I've got a bit of a like chesty cough right next I think I'll try I'm gonna try burn umber first and see how that looks so I'm just going to start doing some strokes in this little bit in between. Again, I'm sort of doing some little like V shapes. I'm not doing them too um, like straight and perfect. Just doing some strokes to sort of bring these two sections together. And I'm bringing it up into this bit so it sort of creates more like little pieces of fur rather than these like weird shapes blend it up Just gonna darken it up a little bit. But I'm making sure to leave this bit a little bit lighter because it does get a bit darker just sort of like halfway between these two sections. So I'm not pressing on hard at all. So sort of just really lightly building up those layers. Just gonna bring it down a little bit. And just make sure that I'm paying attention to the direction those little hairs are going in. So they start to come out a bit here. And I'm going to bring a few more hairs just sort of like through this bit. Bring it all together. And a few more up this bit. even bring a few more up, up to these little hairs at the top. I think that's starting to look good now. Bring some more down just to blend into this bit. And I'm going to blend a few 
few lines up here. Slightly different when you get to this bit because it is more spiny so I won't go too far there just yet. Just add a few bits of detail. Like that. And then I think I'm going to use some dark sepia to darken this bit up. So I'm just going to go, so concentrate it in the middle and just darken up like a section of fur here. strokes to sort of like blend this bit into this bit. Then I'm going to carry on just concentrating this around here. Blending it down a bit. I think I might just add a tiny bit more and like cobalt turquoise just over this bit. And I definitely want to, I think I need to darken this bit up a little bit more. I'm going to add a bit more burnt umber. I'm just trying to build these layers up really slowly so that I don't like go too far too soon. <clears throat> and I'm going to add a bit more of this burnt umber up here. Right, I think now I need a little bit more warmth so I think I need a bit of raw umber, that nice warm brownie colour and I'm just going to drag that through this like warmer area of fur a little bit, just sort of like blending it into it. A 
little bit through here. There we go. Right. And a bit here. I think I might start on the left ear now and do this bit and then work it all together in the middle. So, same again. Dab away the lines. And then use the cold grey one as the base. Blend it out, and it is actually quite cold around here, so I'm gonna blend some strokes up with it to meet that ear. Like that, and a few more just. Bring this bit of the face out a tiny bit, there we go. And then I'm going to use the warm grey 5. Warm grey 5. And I'm just going to start. So there's like a little bit of lighter fur around here. I'm just going to start drawing around it. Some like little darker lines there. And... Some little lines over this bit and then blend them this way down because there are a few lighter hairs here so I'm just going to leave a few lines of light hairs just poking over that so just draw in between them And I'm just going to do a few little lines on the top of that bit there. Nothing major. And I'm going to use the dark sepia now just to darken up between these lighter hairs a little bit. Just bring a bit over that ear. There we go. And I'm going to use the light cobalt turquoise and just bring that over this top bit and down. Right, it's a little bit lighter at this side, so I think instead of going straight in with the burnt umber, I might try a bit of nougat, Let's see how that goes. So I'm just going to start doing some strokes over this middle section. like join these two parts together. I didn't put the ivory down because um, it is a bit cooler at this side so any of the warmer areas I'll just warm it up with the raw umber. doing like random strokes so that they look nice and natural. And I'm just going to erase this little bit here and add a bit of ivory where it's a bit warmer and the spines start
like that and carry on bringing that nougat just up here I feel like I should have put the nougat down first at this side but it doesn't matter too much I'll just do that from now on it just makes it look a little bit softer I just add a few strokes in there It is a lot warmer on this right hand side though so it doesn't matter too much. Right. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to carry on bringing some strokes upwards with that nougat. And I'm going to add a little bit of the burnt umber. So I'm going to add a little bit here. So this sort of like where that bit of the eye, the fur goes up. I'm just adding it underneath that little bit. Tiny bit. And a little bit. Sort of like above the eye, just there. And I'm going to add some just into this bit here. I'm sort of like leaving gaps for um, these thicker, spinier sort of bits so I'm not doing them like directly next to each other I'm sort of doing the strokes and leaving a gap in between so that they look more like thicker spines that ear <clears throat> and I'm going to add a bit more warm grey five just on this sort of like left side where it's a bit cooler it's not so like yellowy toned more dark sepia I think I'm gonna add some to the bottom here I feel like it's not dark enough And I'm going to add a bit more underneath this section of fur. Uh, Now I'm going to add some little bits of dark sepia just sort of like up here.
and I'm going to add a bit of raw umber just through these little bits warm it up a little bit And then I'm just going to add a little bit more dark sepia to that ear, just darken up around this part. And I'm going to darken up this ear as well. Mostly concentrating it on this like lower part. Just going in those little shapes in between the hairs. Even making those hairs a tiny bit thinner. And then pressing on a little bit more. need a bit more dark sepia in this like inner part of the eyes And a bit more on this left side. a tiny bit more Sometimes it's not till you've done a bit more of a drawing that you can see you need to go a bit darker somewhere. Now I'm going to bring this middle bit together. So, first of all, I'm going to add a bit, right, now I think I'm going to add a bit more burnt umber. Just 
next to this bit, darken up some of these hairs and spines. Like that. Right, now I'm going to bring this middle bit in to meet each other. So I'm going to rub out this bit of the pencil marks and use the ivory as a base and just sort of go over this middle section. And then I'm going to use the nougat to start mapping in some of these spines. So on this left side here, it's still quite like thin, like and little hair strokes. So I'm just gonna build those up quite delicate and thin there. And then same here, quite thin, just next to that ear. And then as you get towards the middle, they're a lot more like thick and spiny. And it's kind of like the darker at the bottom, lighter in the middle, and then darker at the top again. So I think I'm gonna start with these ones on the right because they're sort of sat on top of the ones that are on the left that sort of come round this way. So I'm gonna start with these on the right and I'm just gonna start drawing some lines on the bottom. And then sort of like meet at a point at the top and then draw a line there. So that's sort of like one little spine. I'm not going to draw every single little spine that I can see. I'm just going to try and simplify it a little bit. So I'm just going to try and like change the direction of them a little bit. And then here, start going this way. I'm just mapping in where they are. Add a tiny bit of burnt umber in um, in this little gap here, just so I can sort of see. I'm just gonna add it to the bottom mostly, so I can see where they are more clearly. And then I'm going to start now with the ones going in this direction. So. Just adding the spines in. Again, not adding every single little one. So I just... in as much as I can. Making sure not to draw a line over these spines so I'm sort of drawing around them. I 
Oh, I'm using, uh, did I mention that I'm using the nougat again to do this now? Right, there we go. And I'm going to start just like blending the nougat up from the bottom these spines because like I said before they're dark at the bottom and dark at the top light in the middle I'm just blending that up and then I'm going to blend it down from the top like that and then I'm gonna do the ones going this way but they're this sort of like they're not uniform like some of them are darker for longer at the bottom and then some of them are only these little dark bits if that makes any sense at all so I'm just gonna like mix up the sort of length of these strokes that I'm doing And I'm going to start doing the top bits. Right, next I'm going to use Burn Umber to start adding a bit more depth and a bit more detail into these little spines. So, concentrating it on the darker areas. I'm just going to start darting them up. And then I'm going to do the top. <sighs> and there is like one long dark spine here. Just adding that in for a bit of interest. Just to like break it up a little bit. And I'm just dragging that down from the top. Right, and then I'm going to do these ones. So I'm basically just mixing it up between like adding some darker bits to the bottom and to the top.
and then I'm gonna do the ones that are coming this way. Adding a few little strokes in between as well, in this like middle bit. It's going to darken up these little spines a bit more. There we go. They were just like really thick hairs, really. Like it's the same sort of technique. Definitely need some um, dark sepia in a second. I'm just going to darken the ends of these bits up a little bit more. Right, dark sepia now, and there's quite a few darker bits here. So first of all, I'm going to do this little bit in the middle because that is definitely needing some darkening up. Sort of like, comes into like a weird like little pointy shape here. So I'm just going to try and draw in the darker shapes and leave some gaps. The lighter hairs in between. And then there's like a, comes in this direction. bit there. Just so it looks like there's a few lighter hairs sitting in between. And then this lighter hair is like poking up and there's a darker bit just underneath. So now I'm just going to start adding some little sort of lines and pointy shapes with the dark sepia just where the edge of this like face fur meets these like spiny bits. And there's also some darker bits where these spines here are sat on top of these ones. There's some darker bits here. Just 
doing that one of those weird little shapes in there so if it comes like that and I'm going to do some little lines between these spines here and definitely need to darken up this bottom bit here And then I'm going to darken up these top bits, the spines. Just bring these lines up a little bit more. Get in there. And I'm going to do some bits at the top. And some in the middle. top here and here right bit more round this ear. And a bit more this side. And I'm going to just blend a bit more burnt umber in there I think. It's like more through certain areas, especially around this middle bit I think. A bit more around here. I'm going to add a bit more through this bit too. I 
I might add the tiniest bit of black just through some of these little bits just to darken it up a tiny bit more. And I think I might just bring a bit more of the fur around the face. So I'm going to add a bit of ivory on this left side. So rub the lines away like that. And then I'm going to use the ivory just to start adding some little hairs. Instead of like colouring it on, I'm just gonna sort of like feather it out in little strokes. <clears throat> and I'm going to use the nougat to start adding a bit of detail on top, so I'm literally just so it's like doing little strokes and making some little soft like delicate hairs. Make sure that you're paying attention to the direction of the first strokes. blend that out a little bit and then I'm going to use the warm grey 5 and just start adding a bit more texture and detail Sort of like fading it out. Just had to change the battery. <laughs> um, I'm going to carry on with that warm grey five, just adding a few strokes. And then I'm going to add some dark sepia. Just sort of trying to like keep the direction interesting by like changing it up a bit, doing some strokes that way, some that way. Just 
can add a few more bits there. There we go, that's getting there now. I'm going to do some strokes sort of like concentrated towards the edge of that tuft. I'm just going to use my uh, eraser just to soften that edge a little bit more. I think I'm going to add I think I'm just going to take a bit of the colour away, sort of like in the middle bit, not at the edge, not at the base, sort of like in the middle, just a little bit. And I'm actually going to use a bit of burnt umber now, I think it needs a bit of a brown tone. Sort of just concentrating it to like the middle of this like tuft of fur. Just gonna um, use my eraser just to soften that bit up a little bit more. And then I'm gonna use a nougat. So because the hairs sort of like don't really look very defined at the edge, I'm just gonna use a nougat to like add a bit more definition. And I'm just going to add a bit more like, a line to like the bottom of the tufts. And I'm just going to, again, just fade it out slightly. It's really hard to achieve this sort of like soft fluffy fur without it looking like there's not really much going on. So I'm just trying to build that up slowly. I'm gonna add a bit more, oh, I'm gonna add a bit more dark sepia, I think. A bit more this bottom bit. A bit more at the end of these tufts. a bit better.
and then I'm just going to finish off by doing some fur around this right side. A few more bits of dark sepia there. Right, so I'm going to use the ivory as a base and I'm just going to rub these lines away and just going to bring it just on this right hand side here just to like finish off there and I'm going to go in with the nougat just start adding some hair strokes And then it's a little bit lighter around here, so I'm just going to try and like leave that bit a bit lighter. There we go. And I'm going to add a bit of burnt umber because it is a lot more like brown at this side. Do my little pointy shapes. It's blending a bit from the edge of that face. a bit through then I'm going to use some dark sepia and just darken up just around this little bit like that and then I'm going to add a few more little strokes through that bit I think I definitely need to darken this bit up actually. Add a little bit more just up here too. You don't see it until you've done a bit more like which bit needs more work put into it. more through these spines. And a little bit more on this left side here. And I'm going to add a bit more burn on the
think I just need to lighten this bottom bit a little bit. Um, I might try my Tombow eraser and if that doesn't work, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> I'll, I'll come to that when I try this. I'm just going to add, well, take away some of that colour. That's much better. Okay, um, I'm going to add a tiny bit of row umber just to this right hand side. A little bit to the end of some of these hairs. And a bit more dark sepia, I think. Definitely gonna add a bit more around here. Pressing on a bit harder now, I want to just really darken that bit up. Add a tiny bit more pen's grey into this bit. It needs a bit more of a blue tone, I think. It's a bit better. And a bit more this side. And then I'm just going to add a tiny bit more light cobalt turquoise just to finish it off. Right, so I had originally ended the tutorial there, but I've just been editing the video back and I think I just need to um, pick out a few light hairs with the slice tool, which isn't ideal, I didn't want to use it, but I think it just needs a bit more detail in there. Um, you could try this with the little Tombow eraser, just to lighten it up. In
areas if you want to but I'm going to use the slice tool because I really like the way that it looks and just like in little areas like this where I've gone a bit dark I'm just going to use that tool to lift off some of the colours This tool is really good for getting the little light hairs back in there that you might have missed. I've only had it for a little while, so I've not used it loads yet. Just sort of using it anywhere that I feel I've gone a bit too dark. <sighs> really recommend getting one of these if you haven't already. Just gonna use my little um, Tombow razor again, actually, and just just line it up in areas. So this will have a slightly different effect to the slice tool. This is more of like just rubbing a little bit of that colour off. And I think I have gone a bit too dark. A few of these little um, spines. I'm not pressing on hard with this at all. Just lightly taking a tiny bit of that colour away. I try my best to avoid using uh, like this eraser and stuff, but sometimes it is good if you've just gone a bit too far with the colour. I mean, this is very like subtle. I'm not using it too much. So it's not too bad, but I wouldn't use this often. You just don't want it to look patchy, that's the only thing. Avoid it looking patchy if you can.
gonna add a tiny bit more burnt umber just into this bit. And a little bit more just around here. Right, that'll do. I've lightened it up a tiny bit and I think it does look a little bit better. I think once we get on to like this bit, it'll start to look a bit more right. It looks a bit odd at the minute with it just being that little little tiny patch, so Bear with it, I think it'll be fine. Um, I might even just torn down those eyes a tiny bit with a bit more light cobalt turquoise. Those little highlights are just a bit, a bit too strong. Anyway, that'll do. Right. That'll do for that. And in the next tutorial, we'll move on to this sort of area and carry on drawing this lovely hedgehog so i hope you've been enjoying it so far um, if you have please make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to see more and i will see you in the next video bye for now